Hello and thank you for joining me on today's YouTube video. It's going to be an H&M haul but something a little bit different. That said, it no longer feels right for me to do a huge H&M order to show you the pieces. I know it's useful when I try pieces on and show you what they look like in real life but it just doesn't kind of sit right for, with me to, for one, spend loads of money on pieces that I don't necessarily need, but also it just doesn't feel very sustainable um, if I go and buy a huge amount of clothes. So what I thought I'd do is something that I do over on Instagram. I thought I'd bring it to YouTube and that is basically doing a roundup of my favorite H&M pieces um, but by just kind of showing you what's online, explaining it like I normally would, how to style it, why I think it's a good purchase, but without actually purchasing it and being wasteful. What I really don't want to encourage uh, or suggest is that you go out and buy all of these pieces. This might even just give you inspiration to dig into your own wardrobe, um, pull out these pieces and, and ways to style them. So anyway, let's get into it. First piece. Um, and I've had this in my basket for ages. It's this Terry sweatshirt and trouser set. Terry is like a big fabric at the minute that's around everywhere. I think just because it feels a little bit different to normal kind of like sweatshirts in a cotton. We wear a lot of loungewear, well I do anyway, around the house. So to wear something Terry just feels a little bit different. Um, and also just like a really nice loungewear set um, if you're going maybe on holiday, weekend away, spa weekend, and you want something kind of a little bit smarter, this is great because it's got the wide leg. Also, it comes in different colors, but I think the cream is a really nice version because it does just feel a little bit smarter if you wanted your outfit to feel a little bit more elevated. I feel like this would look great with some trainers or flat sandals and some gold jewelry layered with it and just a really nice um, loungewear set that is also very affordable as well. So the next piece on my list is this flounce trimmed dress. I feel that's such a mouthful to say out loud. I was not expecting that. Um, but it's this gorgeous white piece. Again, the beauty of H&M is that things come in lots of different colors so you can cater it to your skin tone and what suits you best. I personally love the white version and I found that I've been really lacking when it comes very, very warm or on holiday, lacking in just those one piece dresses that you can throw on. You don't have to faff around with shorts and a top just a dress but that's also really lightweight and cool because as much as I love like a long sleeve dress and find them really useful, sometimes it's nice to just have a really strappy option um, that still feels a little bit unusual. So I absolutely adore this piece for so many reasons. I love just this really loose midi shape. Personally, I think that is a really flattering shape on all body types. It's just like a tent style, but because it's got the strappy tops, it doesn't feel like you're drowning in the fabric. So that's what makes such a difference. But it just, to me, it feels really chic and effortless. But then what makes it different and gives it the point of interest is this ruffled neckline, the flounce trimmed uh, neckline. It's just so, so pretty. I feel like you could really dress this up as well if you wanted to. It's 19 99 which is just so affordable um, but I feel like you get so much wear out of it it's a hundred percent cotton too so really really breathable and I don't even know why this, this why is this not sold out already I don't know um, but I always say in H&M as well go true to size um, unless you really want something oversized okay so the next piece is another white dress but something of a totally different style and it's this shirt dress and I actually think this is the perfect shaped shirt dress. Um, it's white, it's a poplin shirt dress, so for those slightly cooler days in summer. Okay, so a few reasons why I think this is great, and this is what I always do on my Instagram, explain why I've chosen that piece, because otherwise you could kind of flick past this as just a white shirt dress, but actually there's so many factors that go into this why I think it's great. So first of all, the length. I think the longer the shirt dress, the better. I just feel like it looks a lot more chic and classy. So I think a long dress is great, but what makes this even better is that it's got the side split and quite a deep side split as well that goes quite high up. And that's what makes this piece more flattering. If this didn't have the side split and was as long as it would, it would feel very, very oversized. But that split makes a huge difference to the fabric and the way the dress fits. 
And then another thing are these sleeves. It's like a kind of puff sleeve with a deep cuff um, and it's got like a bit of a puff around the uh, cuff part of the dress, which I just think is so, so lovely. Um, so I think those factors are why this makes the shirt dress such a great one. $24.99 as well. I mean, just feel like this is a timeless piece that you can pull out year after year. You can belt it, you can wear this for work wear, you could put a blazer over your shoulders, um, you could wear this casually with some sandals or trainers. Um, I find shirt dresses really, really useful. So I do have quite a few dresses in here. Um, I feel like H&M have a really good dress selection, but I'll move on to trousers next. So next is these wide linen blend trousers and I've gone for them in the black just because black is so wearable and versatile and also they make a really nice piece for if you're still working from home. I know a lot of people work from home anyway um, and if you've not gone back to the office, although I'm sure most people have. So these are just a really nice piece for those kind of days and they're just, I think because they don't have the belt loops, it makes them feel a little bit more casual. So I could just see this worn with a t-shirt, worn with a sweatshirt over the top, with some nice sandals. They're just a really, really useful piece to have in your wardrobe. And wide legs at the moment for me just feel so effortless. They're so easy to throw on, but because of the wide leg style, it just feels a little bit more chic and fashion forward. Okay, I'm gonna go back to a couple of dresses now. So first is this calf length dress. It's a white one with like kind of no shoulders, no shoulders, no sleeves, sleeveless. That's what I'm looking for, sleeveless. Um, this really reminds me of the Tove dresses, but obviously they're a lot more expensive, but this is a similar kind of shape and style. Um, and again, a really effortless one. I know a lot of people are looking for occasion dresses. This isn't necessarily a great one for going to a wedding, of course, but it would make a great piece if you're going to a christening or an evening party, um, garden party even, this would look really chic for. Um, and one of those pieces you can bring out time and time again. It also comes in blue, but I just think Think it's incredibly chic. Uh, it kind of reminds me a bit, bit of a, like a Greek goddess sort of vibe. I could see this with some really nice long gold earrings or some pearls and some gold strappy sandals would just look so, so chic with this. And again, on holiday, it will look great. And then next, this Thai detail dress, I think is absolutely gorgeous in this buttery yellow color. But again, it comes in different shades of blue, which I love. Um, but I don't know, I was just gravitated towards this buttery shade, this really nice, warm, light yellow shade. And fabric on this just looks absolutely beautiful. It's a cotton weave and it's got like this kind of V-shape opening with the tie and the puff sleeve, three quarter length puff sleeve for me. Again, really, really makes this on those kind of semi um, warm days where it's not baking hot. But even in the evenings on holiday, I think this dress would look so chic with a red lip. Um, with this yellowy color would look really, really good. But also actually as a beach cover up um, would be really great. You can just throw this on because it's nice and loose and breezy. And yeah, I just feel like I can't rave about this enough. Again, a great one to dress up and dress down. And that's what I always look for when I am purchasing a new piece. How many ways can I wear that piece? Okay, my final dress for a little while is this cotton shirt dress. And it really reminds me of one that I got last year from Weekend and Beyond. It's $34.99, they're really affordable. It's a cotton shirt dress. You could belt this. Again, I think a lot of us are looking for workwear for the summer season. And this to me is just a great piece. It's short sleeve, so it feels nice and cool. It's a shirt style, so it's got a bit of structure to it. It's midi length. With it being black, I think it feels quite put together, formal. You could wear it with some little ballet flats for work, or you could go, you know, in the daytime just with some strappy sandals and a basket bag for more of a casual look. So I think definitely a really useful, and again, versatile piece. So onto tops, I've got this ribbed knit top here in the light beige, but it also comes in black again. I think this is really, really nice and I am very tempted to purchase this because I think a lot of the times 
people get carried away and I, I'm guilty of this as well. Sometimes we'll buy pieces that are really, really dressy for going out, out in that we barely ever wear um, and then you kind of get bored of it once you've worn it once or we'll just buy loads of casual pieces or loads of the same pieces over and over again. We'll buy loads of pairs of jeans or something like that. But actually, sometimes what we're really missing is those nice, smart, casual, in-between pieces that you can kind of dress up in the daytime if you're going somewhere a bit more formal in the day. And the same with um, evening wear, you could dress it up. So this rib neck top really ticks that box for me and I could see it with a pair of high-waisted, white trousers, belted you could wear it with, without a belt, or with some um, straight white jeans. I think it's gonna look so good with white. Um, but you could also wear this with black. On the website, they've paired it with hot pink trousers, which I think looks so great. You could wear it with some high-waisted shorts for the evening and summer um, with a strappy heel. But I think the fact that it's a knit, but also um, got quite a lot going on with the shoulders and the nice neckline, um, I feel like you could do a lot with this in terms of styling. Loads of different ways you can wear it. It will look great with jewellery. You could put necklaces on with this. You could put statement earrings on with this. But you could still wear it with a blazer as more of a basic because it is quite simple. So really, really can't rave about this enough. I think it's a really great piece. Um, and I'd also suggest the black as well if you wanted the same kind of thing. But I think for summer, it's nice to pair, um, go with like an all tonal look. And then just a really simple rib knit vest top is my next piece. And they also come with matching bottoms. Again, if you're looking for um, kind of really comfortable lounge wear for the daytime in summer. I think you can't go wrong with this, but also I think it looks quite chic and put together. And I feel like you could definitely dress this up a little bit. Reminds me of an Anina Bing set there is. It's a little bit more of a casual version, but I feel like you could dress it up and wear it out. I could see this with a blazer over the shoulders and get more cost per wear as well, because you could wear the trousers with a shirt or you could wear this top with so many different things. It's a really great basic to have into your in your wardrobe. Next are these Mom Loose Fit Ultra High Jeans. I love high-waisted jeans. I don't care that low waist is coming back into fashion. It's not about that, it's about what you feel comfortable in. I personally think high-waisted are often more flattering and more comfortable. So I just love these shape. I love the lighter wash. Um, I don't think there's a picture of the model wearing them in this color, but there is for other colors. So I'll try and link that. One of the ways they've styled it for the other colors is just with the simple shirt and a pair of strappy sandals. So I think that look would work really well with this. I mean, jeans can go with everything, but I think these are a really nice shape. They're not too clingy. And I find the H&M as well do really good denim that lasts a long time. I've had plenty of pairs of H&M denim that have um, like washed really well and worn really well. So um, definitely would recommend those. And I'd also sometimes say in like a mom style jean, you could get away with going a size up. I think they look better, a little bit looser um, and maybe belt them, but I think they look nicer on the leg, a little bit looser. Okay, I have two cardigans. Um, so forgive me because they're very, very similar, but they're slightly different. So I did want to include them both. So the first is this ribbed knit one. So this is more of a rib knit in a green beige. So if you suit um, more of those kind of earthy, slightly cooler tones, I would say green is slightly cooler with the tortoise buttons. I think this is so cute. It's always really, really useful to wear, to have a cardigan. Um, a chunky knit cardigan, I think, in the summer season. Throw it over a pretty dress in the evening or just wear it as a top on cooler days, um, just buttoned up and kind of wear it as like a lightweight jumper. But I just think they're so useful. Um, and this greeny beige color, I think, is, I, I just love this. And the fact that it's a bit cropped as well, it looks slightly cropped, I just think would look so nice over a bit more of a billowy dress. And then the next cardigan is called an oversized cardigan. I always go for my true to size in an oversized cardigan, um, unless you want it small, because they are made to be that shape. So kind of, I just go with that. But this is more of a light beige, just like a classic beige, I would say. Um, and it looks really great the way they've styled it with some white wide leg jeans. Again, like the previous cardigan, it goes with so much. It's just really flexible. And one of those pieces, I think, 
would be so useful in your summer wardrobe and beyond. So the next piece, I did want to share a cotton shirt because I think this looks a really nice shape and style. It's not too fitted, but it's also not too oversized, which I think is important because sometimes when they're really, really oversized, um, you can't tuck them into shorts. Uh, or trousers as well, or skirts. I think it's nice to be a little bit oversized though, you can just tuck the front part in. So I think this really crosses the balance between like not too oversized and not too small. I would probably go up one size for this kind of shirt, just to keep it nice and loose and airy. But it looks like a really easy one. It's, it's just cotton. Um, it looks like a nice relaxed fit. Oh, it actually says the model wears a size medium on here. So yeah, I would probably go up myself to a size medium because I would normally get a small. So nice and loose, easy, pair it with your jeans, with some shorts, and it's just a really great option. And then the next are some plain black sandals. These are just a low heel. I'm all about a low heel, especially for summer. I think, I don't know, they just make everything look a little bit cooler and they're so much more comfortable as well being um, a low heel. So this black strappy heel is one of those that you'll be bringing out year after year. I have some strappy heels that I've had for four or five years and I'm still wearing them now because they're just so useful. I think millions of ways to wear those. So the next is a ribbed knit dress. Now, this is in a brown shade. I got one of these last year in a black from H&M and what I decided to do is go for, I think I went either for the large or the extra large. Um, so I really, really sized up um, to get that nice loose fit. Um, I sometimes think a tight rib knit is a little bit unflattering. So to go for like kind of up a few sizes makes it like really nice, loose, breezy and comfortable as well. And again, a great loungewear piece if you want to feel a little bit smarter, if you're going kind of out and about but don't want to look too dressed up. This is just a great one to throw on. One piece and you're done. So I wanted to talk about this sleeveless blouse. It's $17.99, but again, it's giving me those real Tove vibes and also kind of Cos vibes too. Very minimalist, slick, but I think this would just look so chic in the evening. Again, with a red lip, with a great earring, um, it'd be really easy to dress up time and time again. You could wear it with a skirt, you could wear it with jeans, you could wear it with wide leg trousers. It's just a really chic piece and I think don't underestimate the elegance that can come from these really simple pieces. Next on my list is a pair of satin shorts. Now personally, this color doesn't suit me. So this is where the, this kind of video comes in handy because I can share it with you without showing it on me because I wouldn't buy this color. But it's this dark beige, which I think is a gorgeous color. I just don't think it works with my skin and hair tone. So dark beige and the satin as well, just so beautiful, elegant, easy to wear in the evening, dress them up dress them down in the daytime with a nice relaxed linen shirt um, and some sandals. But to me, they're like the perfect shape as well, the perfect length, they're not too short. I'm not about short shorts at all. So a nice, longer, looser short just feels so much more elegant to me, so much more chic. They do come in other colors. I think the black is nearly sold out actually. They look really, really comfortable and easy to wear. So I definitely would recommend investing in these. For $19.99, um, I think you really get your wear out of them and you can definitely dress them up and down. So just another pair of jeans I wanted to add, this wide leg, 90s baggy, low jeans. Um, I wouldn't say they're uber, uber low either, which is great. I think they're just sit at a really nice place where they look like they do on the model anyway. Again, I'd probably size up in these if you're unsure of which way to go. Um, I would go up a size, but I think wide jeans for me aren't going anywhere. They're just like wide trousers, but a bit more relaxed. They feel very modern and fresh, and they also make just really simple tops look great. I think they look a lot better with like skinny tank tops and lighter tops um, because it just creates a bit of contrast in your look to have a wide leg. I just wanted to add a quick accessory in, these really fun hoop earrings. I think they look amazing on the model with her short hair, but the red lip as well just looks so great. And they're a really nice size of hoop. They're chunky without being too chunky. Um, they can be worn you know, with real simple basics, but also with a glam dress in the evening. So I think if you are looking to jazz up your wardrobe with some accessories, I definitely recommend these earrings. Fortunately, that is my final piece because 
This little munchkin really wants playtime and he's just been sitting on, under my feet for ages trying to get me to play with him. So I um, don't know if you've heard that or not. Yes, I'll play with you now. I'll play with, I'll play with you now. So I really hope you found that uh, video useful. By the way, this top is from Marcella London and my earrings are from my collection with North School Women. But I really hope you found that useful because I quite enjoy doing those kind of things. I really enjoy doing them over on Instagram. So I thought I'd mix things up and try it on YouTube so I can do a bit more of an explanation and a kind of haul and round up of favorites and just kind of go into a bit more detail about why I like everything um, without having to buy it myself. I just don't feel comfortable with that to be quite honest. So I hope you've enjoyed it and kind of understand why I'm, I'm doing it this way and, and uh, let me know if you want to see more of these and if so, what brands, what shops, more of H&M, do you want other brands? Just let me know. So thanks again for watching. I'm gone tired now. Otty says goodbye. Yes, you do, yes. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.